Hi folks, I want to display my uh, latest slingshot work. I uh, saw this wing nut on the flea market the other day and I thought I could uh, build a slingshot out of it. Bought two of these uh, for one euro. They are 12 millimeters metric threads made of cast brass. So uh, that's the original wing nut and this is the second one. Drills already the holes for a band attachment, a pinhole. So uh, that uh, makes up for the fork. It's uh, screwed onto this uh, stainless steel uh, threaded rod. All is going to be epoxy together. So uh, here's the pin that I've made. Turn it down on my left. Is supposed to go in here. Right, I will epoxy it and rivet it so it still has a little play now, but later won't have anymore. Alright, the whole thing is going to be epoxied into this piece of antler that I still had lying around in the, down the workshop. Drill the 12 millimeter hole here so uh, that. Uh, threaded rod is going to be epoxied inside, um, ground some grooves in it so that the glue would bend, bond better. Alright, it's going to be in here. Um, I found this antler to fit, it's looking very strange and weird kind of handle and in general the whole catapult's looking weird. But uh, it, it provides a snug uh, fit in, in my holding hand two holes in here for sort of butt caps that I did. Right, this one is uh, it's also going to be epoxied in it. It's having a lanyard. So it's going to go inside here. So this lanyard is having a piece of antler here. You can really tighten it on your wrist. Here's another butt cap for the uh, other side gonna go in here so this is gonna give me a very firm grip when I'm going to epoxy the uh, the dowel inside I'm planning to rake uh, some rubber o-rings in the holes and and pull them as if I would uh, draw the catapult so until the glue would finally set I'm using five minutes epoxy so I'm hoping this way I would have the perfect grip on the antler handle and the uh, angle of the fork it would pull itself straight and cure that way so I will have a perfect uh, I can hold the shooter perfectly alright just wanted to show you this I just ordered for some uh, rubber tubes I'm expecting it by Friday so then next week probably I'm having a chance to uh, assemble this thing and test it for the first time. It's a weird little shooter, but uh, I shall see. I'm going to shoot 5.5 uh, millimeters uh, air gun pellets with it. The distance of the attachment holes is uh, 42 millimeters, so about one and a half inches. So I guess it's going to be okay for shooting small ammunition. All right, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.